Hey everybody, it's Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing and you guys can't really see me. <laughs> I'm going to be holding the camera the other way. I just want to kind of show you where I'm at as far as the tackle shop and the bait room is going here. Uh, let me start up. Now, as you guys know, I moved up to New Hampshire and this is the basement and I have this great stairwell that goes up to the garage. Um, so the garage is connected right to the basement, which would be great. And the reservoir boat, the electric boat, is here in the garage. Um, I have cleaned the garage out a lot, believe it or not. There's Gabby. She wants to be in the video. But as you guys can see, I don't know how well you can see. I'm not going to open the garage door, but it is snowing out here. I know it's snowing in New Jersey, too. You can kind of maybe see the top of the Skeeter over there. The Skeeter is shrink-wrapped and over there. But it's snowing here in New Hampshire. And this is the garage. There's the pups. But this side will be for one of the cars. One of the boats will go over there. We'll see if I can fit the Skeeter in here when the time comes. But uh, it's getting there. This was like, you couldn't even walk through here barely a couple weeks ago. This is the stuff that I just brought up from New Jersey yesterday. Make sure it's in here. Reels. Here's my extra reels. Here's another box of super pork. I'm gonna go through that. Um, I'm not sure what's in all these other boxes. That's some Christmas stuff. Some of it's fishing, some of it's not. Most of the fishing stuff is up. Old videotapes. If you guys got VCRs, <laughs> if you guys remember these old Bass Mass, Bass Pro Shops videotapes, I found those. So this is some old school videotapes, which who knows, maybe one day, if I get motivated, I'll uh, get them, you know, transferred to DVD because they are good. But there's the old, the, the little boat there. And so, come down into the tackle shop. You can still see I have lots of stuff in boxes. There's just soft plastics that were on the pegboard. Um, extra soft plastics. There's more super pork over there and some fishing line. This is just <laughs> stuff that's just piled up. The kids' rods right there, but I'll give you an overview of the basement here. Um, but it, believe it or not, it is getting there. It's better than it was a few weeks ago. But here's this is another box of stuff that I haven't hung up yet. That's that was on pegboard. That's like old stuff. Um, those are boxes. They all have some super pork in them. I kind of got going on the racks. I know you guys have seen a few pictures out on Instagram. How this will eventually be, I don't know. I'm just starting to get the hang of hanging everything up and where I want to put it. But I kind of have the Demiki stuff there. I did. I started with swim baits. So this is like, like back there. I don't know how well you can see this. You know, we'll see how this video comes out. But uh, you know, some Demiki stuff. Some of the old Gander Mountain swim baits. The Lunker City Grubsters. Um, that's some Reaction Innovation. Uh, pocket Rockets there. Once I got done with the swim baits in front, um, Lunker City, Reaction Innovations, and some Sweet Beavers there. Um, you know, some Gambler baits, uh, some Daiwa baits there, some Gajo. Um, that's a Spirit Shads and their, their new Ned Rig. Um, some Beast Coast, that's a great drop shot bait. Do love that magic flick? But you can use, you know, you can even use that as a Ned too, but great drop shot bait. Some noisy flappers from Kai Tech right there. There's some Yamamoto's. I was just starting on the Yamamoto's when I got took a break last night after being down here for three or four hours. Um, I know I showed this to you guys. It's on Instagram. Um, hopefully this the light won't be too bright. I just started putting the swim baits here. Um, that's that left side's kind of just like a mixture. Those are just like a mix of different kinds that I've you know come across over the years. Um, there's the True Bass swim baits up there. Some Beast Coast. That's the six and a half inch creep. That perch one is really, that's awesome. If you guys haven't thrown that before. You got perch in the lake, throw that around. The IV swimmer, got those. Move out a little so I'm not getting too blurry. This is the Chaos X Shad, which uh, somebody on Instagram told me, I guess they discontinued. I didn't realize that, but yep, got those. 
There's the Yamamoto Hardtail, which I think has also been discontinued. I'm not sure. Um, swinging Impact uh, Kitex. More Kitex. I have a lot of Kitex in boxes. A lot of swim baits that I use the most I have in boxes. These are kind of like you know, your backups. Uh, some Mega Bass there. Some Mag Drafts. Some Haze Dogs. Some Dark Sleepers. Spark Shads. Some of the Ripple Shads from Berkeley. It's a nice swim bait. A little jig head. Uh, some Live Targets. Good up on Thousand Islands, those Gobies. That's what I bought them for. Well, let's see. Let's get down here. Some of the Live Targets. Some of the MC swim baits, which is a nice swim bait. If you guys have never heard of it, it's a nice swim bait. Um, some more of the Live Targets. That's the, uh, the spinner rig. And then the, the replacement rigs, and then some of the let's see some of the live target, you know, ghost tail mid on stuff. Like I said, I hope this video is not too, you know, jumpy or since I'm just holding the iPad in my hand. There's your storm swim bait, you know, just some random different swim baits on the bottom. Some little bass pros. There's some Huddlestons down there. You gotta see the. Huddlestons. Oh, oh, hold on. There's a the little creeper. I don't want to forget that. It's one of my favorites. It's a cool swim bait. It's a Castaic Jerky J. Storm. It's a culprit. There's the Huddlestons down there. Some Savage Gear. Swim baits. Power Team Lures. There's your uh, Scottsboro Tackle swim baits, which are really nice. There's a the Babe. If you've ever seen it, the Babe is a nice swim bait. I'm not holding it by the camera. It's not really making it very good here. <laughs> you guys are even seeing that. Uh, put the babe back on. I'll just I'll just point at the babe. All right. Well, some strike kings. You guys get the idea. So that was I started with the swim baits, and I bought these racks. You guys can see these racks of hooks, which are 50. I had 100 of them, and I'm pretty much almost out, so I ordered more. I'm going to have to wait for them to come in before I continue with the other rack. Uh, let's see. Last night, I hung up some tech baits, some flukes, some frogs, doom drops. You guys know I'm a big fan of tech baits. There we go. Some hogs, some sticks. You guys like throwing Senkos. And some of the finesse worms, a little bit of everything. A lot of these I put in boxes already. The ones I haven't put in box yet, I hung up. Neds. Uh, there's the beaver bait. There you go. Let's see if I can focus in on that a little better. It won't be too blurry for you. And there's some more tech baits. That's from that one pound bulk bag I got. I kind of everything separated. Some bounty hunter custom baits. The Versa worm was really nice. Eh, I got some slider stuff, some of the new slider stuff I got it hung up. Um, brought the recliner down and the dogs like sleeping in it, so they're laying in that. But you guys can see that I have a lot of stuff still in boxes. Um, that's all zoom and net bait stuff. Um, these are some of the boxes that I just put together. Um, then I just have my you know, portable boxes that I brought from New Jersey that are just kind of sitting here. There's all zoom stuff in there and some scattered stuff. The stuff that I have on the desk that is in the process of getting organized. All my reels. I finally broke my rods and reels down in February. But got my TV down here. Got the fishing network on. World Fishing Network. This is the rest of the basement over here. It's like everything is kind of, even though it looks like a mess, it's somewhat organized. It's like Christmas stuff, books, kitchen stuff over there. Um, I'm going to need some more storage things to put things in. Uh, just more boxes here. Power Team stuff, some Six Sense stuff, Jean LaRue. You know, there's some Berkeley, that's all Berkeley stuff in that box, so that's gonna be another box of Super Pork there. And just a mess of stuff. I have another rack that's gonna get filled up soon, as soon as I get more of the, um, more of the hooks, the hangers. Um, I kinda showed you guys, I have stuff on racks as my hard baits over here. On this side, the spinner baits there in the bottom. Uh, you know, jigs over here. All these different soft plastics. There's Z-Man stuff. You guys can see back there. 
my rods up here lined up against the wall. <laughs> I just kind of broke everything down finally. <coughs> but, you know, flipping baits up here. All the different flipping baits I like. I'm not sure how I have everything, you know, everything's kind of in a section with its, you know, category, but it's not super, super organized yet. But it's better than just being on the floor. So I do have the racks that I had in New Jersey set up. Um, but it's a process, because I have a lot of stuff, obviously. So it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, once I get another hundred uh, hooks, I can probably hang up the rest of the stuff that's on the ground. But that's where it's at. So I'm, you know, I'm completely up here in New Hampshire now. I still have some things that have to come from Jersey. So, But now that I'm done with school, I officially retired February 1st from teaching. So I'm a free man now. And I can get work on this stuff. So... Uh, that's how it's coming. Um, nothing new here, <laughs> but you can see it's all getting organized. So I still have to still have to hang up the S waivers. <laughs> S waivers haven't got hung up yet. So I've got some kai in here, some spiders, some drop shot baits, or some slider hooks. I mean, all this stuff's got to get eventually put in a spot. And it's getting there. Like I said, it's getting there. So. There's the pups, and there's what the rack looks like from a distance. So th those racks I got from Home Depot, um, I think they're $158. They're sturdy. Um, if I have a complaint, they don't give you any um, assembly instructions, so it's kind of like figure it out on your own. It's not hard, but if they gave you some guidance, it might make it so it's a little easier the first time you do it. <laughs> Once I did one, the second one was easy, but the first one is a, kind of a pain when you don't know where to start. But that's how I have it set up. Now, I may move this stuff as time goes by. But we'll see. We'll see. But that's what it looks like. Um, I was going to just go through this box next because it's just a hodgepodge of different companies. Uh, but it can be overwhelming. So just do a little bit at a time. Uh, you know, I got the time now. So just do all a little bit at a time. And eventually it'll all be uh, done and somewhat organized. So I got the, got a couple carpets for down here for the from Home Depot put down. But this stuff is all books and everything. And some of my fishing maps. Lake Champlain map, St. Lawrence River, Wheeler Lake, some fishing books. But all this is just kind of piled and we've got all these different racks that are just kind of laying here. All this, this old fishing series of books. So, some stairs that go upstairs. It'll be a long view. So you, should, you can see this basement is a lot bigger than the basement in my old house, and a lot higher ceiling. So I'm not banging my head every five minutes or feeling like I'm gonna bang my head every five minutes. Some old empty, some empty Plano boxes there. So you guys get a good idea of how it's coming. I know it looks like a complete mess now, but it's actually better than it was. Just just emptying, I just emptied all these, you know, just filling this rack up. I emptied three, those, three or four big, three boxes, those three boxes I emptied, and a lot of these have nothing in them. Some of these boxes had stuff in them, but they don't anymore. So it's getting there, it's getting there. I, I did, like I said, I ordered another hundred hooks. I don't know if that's going to be even be enough. Um, we'll find out. But... You guys who like swim baits, there's the arsenal of stuff that I don't have. Like I said, I have a lot of these in boxes, or these ones. These, these I tend to keep in the pack. Uh, the 4.8s and the 3.8s, I have, you know, Plano boxes over there that I keep them in. It's just easier than having all those clamshells on the boat. They seem to take up so much room. But that's it, guys. That's it. That's how things are coming. Snowy day up here in February in New Hampshire, no surprise. I know you guys down in New Jersey... You, you know that follow the channel you guys are getting snow too so I'm gonna watch some fishing and do some organizing so i will see you guys soon on youtube i uh, hope you enjoy this um, and i'll keep you posted on the progress okay see you guys soon on youtube mark out